everyone. Welcome to my first art studio tour. Uh, actually, I'll just be showing you some parts of my living room and a couple of other rooms. I was going to do an art room tour only when my apartment is finished, but then I thought why not show it as it is now, cause I've already lived here for over a year and I can do another art studio tour next year once the apartment is finished, hopefully. I actually filmed this around the time that I started packing up my stuff to move out before the renovation starts. So this is a tour of my temporary unfinished art room and desk setup and I'll also show you where I keep my art and art supplies but I'm not gonna show you the full view of the room, just certain parts because there are things I don't want to show. For example, the desk I'm supposed to use is half assembled in the middle of the room because there are still some parts missing. Let's start with where I store my art supplies in the living room and then move on to the desk and some other shelves and drawers with art stuff in the other rooms. Okay, so this drawer used to have my scanner on it, but since I'm moving I already packed it away. Now I just have some art here, some works in progress like the oil painting here, and then a sketch and some paintings on cardboard and one framed pastel drawing. The drawers here have some random things. I haven't organized them so I'm not gonna show the insides. I covered these shoe boxes with magazine cuttings so they are both decorative and functional. This one has some snail mail supplies like stamps and stickers. And then this one has some paints and pastels and chalks. And here's a wooden model. This cabinet here is from IKEA and I've had it for quite a while. This TV stand, which I'm not using as a TV stand right now, is from the recycling center. I have a few plants around, St. Paulias or African violets. This one is actually a pepper I've grown from seeds myself. I like growing house plants out of fruit and vegetables from the grocery store. Here I have another St. Paulia and some scented candles which I don't actually use. They're just here for decoration. And the candle holders are by Itala, a Finnish brand. I've gotten them as gifts many years ago. Okay, here I have a couple of paintings. A Sukar Skull Girl on cardboard. It's an acrylic painting. And an oil painting on canvas board of a lily. Now, in this cabinet, most of the stuff is study notes and books, but over here I have some art in binders and folders. There are finished drawings, paintings, and then line art, more paintings, sketches, coloring page stuff, some old art binders and old drawings and paintings. We're still in the living room, and I have another chest of drawers from the recycling center. There's a lock on the top drawer, but no key. I have a snake plant here, and since I'm not using the easel right now, I thought it's a good place to display art, since I'm not really putting anything on the walls yet. I've used up all the random places that have screws or concrete nails on the wall to hang things to, but I haven't put any holes on the walls myself yet. It's kind of difficult with the concrete wall and I want to plan out the arrangement first before I do it. So I need to have all the furniture in place first and maybe tear off the wallpaper since it's not in a very good condition. It has some tears and stuff. I'm just trying to fill up the walls and floors as much as I can for now to reduce the echo. So the first drawer has some tech in it old laptops, old mouse, then the next one is some random stuff, receipts and so on. Now let's check out the lowest drawers. This one has mostly some papers, but these are for videos I want to make. Trying out these brush markers and making a DIY puzzle. The puzzle is from Tiger and the markers are from Toys R Us. Next, we have some pieces of hardboard that I use for painting. 
I tape down the paper onto these to keep it flat. And next I have my oil painting palette. It's an old glass frame and I keep the glass in the wooden frame because the glass is sharp. And then on this side some loose watercolor paper I've cut out, different paper pads, so there's watercolor, there's Canson drawing paper, there's charcoal drawing paper, graphite transfer paper, uh, also a smaller one with different colors, just black paper, sketch paper and another watercolor pad, and also some colored papers for soft pastels and another pad for soft pastels. Some loose paper and sketch paper and a bigger watercolor pad. Let's look into the lowest drawer. It doesn't open very much but there's this magazine holder and some frames which I've painted. And more frames, frames, frames. Let's look inside here next. And I also have a pile of storage boxes from IKEA with art supplies and random stuff in them, but I often use them for my filming setup. I'll pile them on top of each other and put the tripod or the microphone on top of them beside my desk. Now let's look inside. This isn't very tidy, but on the first shelf I have some acrylic paints and glass jars for paint water some IKEA molar paints behind them and some snail mail stuff and my acrylic mediums, matte medium, pencils, colored pencils, gesso. Next one, this bar is actually for hangers. The previous owner left this cabinet here and I'm using it for art supplies. So here more acrylic paints, printer paper, these wood pieces I'd like to paint on someday. Dried paint I've peeled off from paint palettes. The elastic band I use for my filming setup to keep the tripod on top of the boxes. And that's linseed oil for oil paints. Then the next one. We have some more pens and acrylic paints, charcoal drawing box set from Little, acrylic paint palettes, soft pastels, little containers for acrylic paints, pastel pencils, some markers. Sorry for the bad lighting, by the way. There's a wood iron set again from Lidl, which I haven't tried yet, but I want to try. Next shelf is maybe the messiest one of all, and it has my Blue Yeti microphone and some other tech, my external hard drives, I have multiple hard drives for storing all my video footage. And on the next one, some, some craft supplies and fixative. There's actually my drawing tablet, which I made an unboxing video of, but haven't had the chance to learn to use yet. And then here are some oil paints, acrylic paints, and sketchbooks and calendars. Finally, before moving into the other rooms, this is my current desk setup in the corner of my living room. It's not usually this empty, but this is where I film most of the time. The desk on the left and the drawer are second-hand office furniture, and the table on the right is a hand-me-down from my sister. All my chairs are second-hand as well. This desk setup is just a temporary one though. I'm planning to have a more cohesive one eventually. So I have two desk lamps. The one on the left has a daylight light bulb, but it's not on right now. For this video I'm using natural light and the ceiling lamp, which has a normal yellow light bulb. I do use the daylight lamp normally for filming on the desk, since my desk is not in front of the window, it's on the opposite side of the room. I usually have the microphone or the camera propped up on the drawer, where the lamp is standing, so I'd have a pile of boxes there. I'll show you some photos or video clips of that. I film on the desk and I might have this drawing mat from IKEA on the table to protect the desk, or this piece of hardboard which I've covered with DC fix film. 
I use that when I'm painting on watercolor paper so I can tape down the paper on the artboard. And it looks nicer in the video than one of those uncovered dirty looking hardboard pieces I showed you earlier. I have some paint brushes, markers, scissors, watercolor pens, stabilo markers, micron pens and highlighters over here, my Kotman watercolor palette, some charcoal sticks and sponges. So let's move on to here. I use the mirror for filming. I don't have a flip screen on my camera, so I use the hand mirror instead to check if everything is in frame or whether the camera is still filming. And then here's my laptop and I have an external monitor here hooked up to the laptop with an HDMI cable and my modem and the camera battery charger. And I have this USB hub connected to the laptop so I can hook up more devices to the laptop. This is for memory cards and I hook up my microphone here and here's an external hard drive. This one is a 4TB Seagate hard drive. I have an Acer laptop and you can see the specs here. I use it for video editing and everything really. I don't have a desktop computer. So this is where I film my art videos and this is where I edit and record voiceovers. And that's my tripod which wasn't here before because I was using it to film this. Okay, now we are in the bedroom and I want to show you these shelves. This is again from the recycling center. It's like a small bookshelf and I have some of my art stuff here. Right now I'm storing the pastel artworks in a pile over here with baking paper in between them. And here are some library books and one of my art books. These are moving books I'm planning to use for upcoming videos. And this is a watercolor flower book which I really love. It's gorgeous. It's the Flower Painter's Essential Handbook by Chill Base. And then here I have all kinds of magazine clippings, craft papers, plastic folders, sketch papers. And down here we have some magazines which I like to cut up for crafts. And some letter sets and envelopes. And then some mythology and painting books. Books about plants and nature. Children's books which I find inspiring for my own art. Crafting, culture museums, Egyptian mummies, religion, and some frames from Ikea. I'm not using these drawers yet. I do have some other boxes of crafts and art supplies in the other side of the room that I haven't unpacked yet, but I won't show them now. The last stop of this tour is my hallway and this chest of drawers from the recycling center once again. I would like to eventually move this in the living room because it's a good size for art stuff but I don't want to keep art stuff in the hallway anymore. And here's a monstera leaf which is not doing very well. I got it last summer. I've actually moved most of my plants in the balcony this summer but it's been so hot that they're dying even there. The couple of first drawers have nothing art related but let's see the next ones. This one has some markers, oil paints, there's some postcards, watercolor paper, and some huge paint brushes. A paint palette, canvas boards, canvases. These are by Crelando and Creabox and they're from Lidl. There are three pieces in both of these. And then some bigger canvas board, an old dictionary, I guess for crafting purposes, some inking supplies, inks, dip pens, charcoal pencils, I was looking for them a while ago. Here are craft supplies, washi tapes, sequins, ribbons, more washi tapes, some hole punchers, decorative scissors and super glue which I was also looking for, duct tape, 
There's pastel chalks, acrylic spray paints and wax crayons by Crelando again. Now let's do the last draw. So this one has some paint markers I haven't tried yet and textile markers from IKEA. The paint markers are by Crayapox from Lidl. Some stamps and stamp pads from Tiger and Trio Magic markers an old pan with old candles, which I recycle into new candles, and then some canvases. A sketch started on a big canvas, but not painted, and another big one, and a frame and some paper pads. That's it for my art studio tour. Come back next week for another art video. I'm posting two videos a week for the summer. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!